Okay, painting cockpits. Pretty straightforward. This is all out of the box. Nothing added, no resin bits or photo etch. It's had a coat of dark gold grey for the cockpit. It's a Hasegawa um, F4E Phantom cockpit. So what I'm going to do now, now it's dried, is give it a bit of flat black onto the, the panels to bring out the details. Now, some people will actually spray these, mask them all up in these areas in here, and they'll actually spray it. The thing is, it takes far too long. So if you take a small paintbrush, something like that, starting in the middle, and then we brush onto the details all over the knobs and switches, and then when you come to these bits here, in here like this, just to run the brush along the edge, like so. So we're just working all round. If you start in the middle and pull the paint, you can then pull it to the sides. It's quite easy on this cockpit because it goes to the outside but basically where you've got a line or a join you just pull it across because it's slightly raised with any luck your paintbrush will stay on the higher surface and then you can run it along and then fill in all the gaps as you go Here we go, so we're something like that at the moment. I was going to leave this one, but actually I've decided we're going to wash it. And there we go. Right, okay. This is the black on then. And next thing you know, we're going to dry brush it. Okay, next thing to do is the wash. So we're going to use the Pro Modeler's Light Wash using that very nice thin paintbrush. This is neat, straight out of the bottle. Then all we do is plonk it on and brush it all over the panels we want to do. You can use as much as you like but basically we're doing it to let it flow into all the the recesses and the joins around also around all the switches and knobs because it will give a nice sort of dusty effect next up you take your cotton wool bud moisten slightly, lick it, dab it on some wet to something as long as it's not too damp okay we'll start with these lower ones Okay and then we just simply rub because of the way the the panel actually is there isn't a great deal of depth on the the recesses themselves so you have to be a little bit careful don't over moisten the cloth otherwise you will lose it I hope you can see that, that one's come out quite well Okay, these at the back are hoping they'll dry. I didn't really give it much time. Obviously at the moment you're just taking off the the bigger bits of clay. The large areas I should say. But also what this does, which I quite like, it gives it that sort of dusty worn effect that panels certainly on old aircraft like the Phantom tend to get and there we go that's that one done hope you can see that I'll take a still of it anyway <laughs> 